Hey guys, how's it going? Mike here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a quick video on AutoHotKeys. AutoHotKey is a program that you can use to mimic or create your own mouse keys inside of RuneScape or any other app. It's a very useful program for when you're doing something extremely repetitive, so something like construction, dropping something, or doing summoning. There's a ton of different times in RuneScape where it is very useful. There are other apps that go really well with AutoHotKeys, but I'll be covering that in a different video about useful tools and programs that you can use with RuneScape that just make your life way easier. So before I start, I'm going to point out a couple things that you should know before you start using AutoHotKeys. So the first thing is that it is only available for Windows, it isn't available for Mac or Linux. You're probably going to have to find some other programs that do the exact same thing or something very similar. These things do exist, so you just have to find them and you can use them. And then the next big thing is that technically AutoHotKeys is against the RuneScape rules since it does interact with your client. So you have to keep this in mind. I will show you some scripts and all the scripts that I show you are things that I have used and a lot of people in the community have used and has been perfectly fine. But there are some things that you can do with auto hockeys that are completely against game rules. So I'm referring to something called the one to one rule that most of us do use. All this means is that when you're using auto hockey, it is one input to one output. Some J mods have come out and said that this is okay. Some have come out and said that this isn't okay. But nobody that I know of currently has used one-to-one -one scripts and gotten banned. Recently we had a very high level and very known player in the community that did get banned, but if you look at the script that he was using, it was completely something that I would not recommend for anybody to use because it isn't one-to-one. -one. Even though that this isn't a rule that Jagex does abide by all the time, it is a risk that you're going to take, but for some it is a risk worth taking, so that is why I'm making this guide. I will stay again, if you're using any scripts in auto hockey inside of RuneScape, you are taking a risk, and please do so at your own will. So now that all the warnings and stuff are over, now we're going to get to how to get auto hockeys, how to install it, and how to use it. So at first, it's very simple, you just go to autohockeys.com, I'll write it on big bold letters on the screen so that you can see. Once you go there, you'll be on their front page. On the right hand side you'll have a download button, just click that and then download the installer. Installing it is just as simple, you go to wherever you downloaded it to, open it, install it, and then you're done. You'll get a couple of pop-ups that will come up, close everything that's there, so that's just information and stuff like that. And the very next thing you're going to want to do is just open up a notepad or whatever text editor you use, and now we're going to get ready and write our scripts, and it should be that simple. So this is an example of a script, and this one specifically is one that I use for summoning. So with this script, I'm going to show you what each of these keys does, how to make it yourself, and just how to use this script, and then just use this as a base to make other scripts that you might make in the future. So if you see it right away, all you're going to see is A colon colon. So all this means is the A key is going to do something. You're assigning something to your A key. That's it. So if you go on the next line, we see click right. So what's assigned to the A key is that's what you're going to write there. So the A key is going to do a right click, and that's how you write it inside your notepad. And then you have return, which just means execute. So now we have the A key. If I was to press the A key, if I had the script active, it's going to do a right click for us. So then we're going to do the S key, so S colon colon, and now we're going to have a new thing that says mouse move. So what this does is a command to help you move your mouse. Very simple, it says it right in its name. So then the next two numbers that we see, the 0 and the 65, are X and Y coordinates. So on our X plane, we're going to go 0, so it's going to stay stationary, and on our Y, we're going to go down 65. So usually 65 is around the perfect number for summoning. You might have to change that for yourself, and for other things, you will have to change it to something different. And then the next number that we see, it's also 0, so that is our speed. So that's the amount of speed that we want the mouse to move down on. So on mouse keys normally, since it moves down instantaneously, we're going to move that to zero, and that means it'll move down instantly. And our next thing, it says rel. You only actually need the letter R, since there have been some changes in AutoHockey's ages ago. I just haven't updated the script. So what R says to the script is, I want you to move, make these moves based on where my mouse currently is. So if we didn't have that R there, our mouse would automatically go to the top right hand, or top left hand corner of our screen, sorry. It'd move zero in the X plane, so it'd move zero, so it'll be still stuck up in the top left hand corner, and then it'd move down 65. That isn't allowed in RuneScape because you can use that to say go exactly to this point of the screen. Mouse keys can't normally do that. Mouse keys move based on where your mouse currently is. So you need to have that R. If you don't have that R and you do get smacked in the face by Jagex, that is totally your fault. I have warned you, so please heed that warning. So the next thing is D key, and what we're going to tell it to do is click. So that's just a left click. 
very simple. And the F key is the exact same as the S, so it's move, but this time we're going to move up that same amount of distance that we moved up before in the S. So when you're writing scripts, a couple of things that I want you to keep in mind is if you have a move down and a move up and you have multiple keys that do all these things, try, and I'm highly going to recommend this, the move, uh, all the numbers that you're going to move up and down in any given script should all be the same. Now I know a lot of players do use multiple different keys, so they'll have ASDF as I have here, and then they'll have QWER set for something else. That is very useful for certain situations, for something like summoning, for something like construction, especially if you're doing prom brokers, where when your build isn't the exact same location as your remove. These are useful, I wouldn't recommend using them, because they are kind of iffy, it does go past what normal mouse keys can do, and I'm not comfortable with suggesting something like that. And I wouldn't use it personally, so I don't recommend anything like that. Other than that, that is their basic script. Something that you should just copy paste from my script that you see is the tilt and then colon colon suspend toggle return. All that does is that when your script is on you normally can't type. You can't use those buttons to type, especially in your chat if you're trying to PM somebody or respond to somebody. So since you can't type, you're going to need some way of turning it on and off. The normal way is to go down to your taskbar and then right click and then suspend. Since you can't normally do that, what you're going to want to do is write this as part of your script. So now the next time you press tilde, it'll turn your script on. And then if you turn it, if you click it again, it'll turn your script off so you can PM your buddy or whatever you want to do, type. And then you click the tilde again and then your mouse keys are back up and working. So when you're first getting your script and you want to edit it and you want to make some changes, if you want to do it on the fly, so the easy, simple thing you're going to do is if you test out your script and then it doesn't work, so you're going to go down to your taskbar, you're going to right click on the little HK, and then you're going to right click and then edit the script. When you do that, it'll open up the current script that you have going, make your changes, save your script, and then what you're going to do is come back, right click, and then you're going to say reload the script, and now the new changes that you've made have been saved, and it'll keep going from there. So I hope that you guys found this video useful. If not, just leave me a comment down below telling me what I can improve for the next one. I will be uploading a video about other useful programs that you can use. That's going to be one whole large one. I just found that this was a little bit too long to include in that one, so I made it its own separate video. But that's it for today. You'll find my information about my Twitter and my Twitch in the video description down below. I hope you guys really did enjoy, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!